Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my Win Health videos. Today I'm gonna to talk about something I get a lot of questions on and that is, Dr. Laura, what can I do for my skin concern? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about some simple, easy and helpful options for natural skin care. So let's get started. I can't talk about skin care without talking about what we eat and drink. Eating enough good quality food and drinking plenty of water helps support the elasticity and appearance of our skin. Next up, let's talk about the skin on our face. If you're anything like me, I tend to have very dry skin. So what I'd love to do is after I've cleansed my skin and before I add a moisturizer, I pat a couple of drops of rosehip seed oil evenly over top of my face. This helps to really nourish my skin and it's very rich in vitamin A, which helps to decrease inflammation and reduce redness and the appearance of scars. If you have oily skin, you can try using witch hazel. Witch hazel is easy to find. It's available in most pharmacies in the first aid section. After you've cleansed your skin and before you add a moisturizer, just put a little bit of witch hazel on a cotton pad and swab the skin of your face. This is a gentle and alcohol-free way to help reduce oil production without over drying. Witch hazel has a cooling, astringing, and anti-inflammatory effect on the skin as well. Mother of all natural topicals, we have to talk about calendula. Calendula is the topical for burns, cuts, scrapes, eczema, dermatitis, irritated skin, red skin, itchy skin, you name it, calendula is the go-to. So I tend to be a bit klutzy and I've had my fair share of burns from pulling food out of the oven to cooking on the stove to other misadventures. I always make sure I have my burn remedies nearby. First one I want to share with you is my aloe plant. So this little guy has helped me quite a bit when I've had burns. Cut a little piece of the plant off, something that looks like this. And aloe has this really great naturally occurring gel. And you're gonna see it here. After I've washed the burn with some cold water and a little bit of soap, just to make sure the area is properly cleansed, I'll take the aloe and I'll rub it right on top. And just to get all the extra that's inside, I'll split it in half and I'll just rub it right over top of the skin just to get even more gel out of that section that I've cut. Once the burn is healed to help minimize the appearance of scars, I use vitamin E oil. So I just pierce a capsule, put a couple of drops on a finger, and then rub into the area a couple times a day. Let's move on to natural body care products. So many people are switching to more natural options to help reduce their chemical body burden. The Environmental Working Group at ewg.org has something really awesome on their website called the Skin Deep Database. And they've been working for almost two decades, compiling nearly 80,000 skincare products and giving them a rating based on their chemical content. So a green rated product is very, very natural and has virtually no chemicals in it. And a red rated one has lots of chemicals. So this has been really cool because it can help us understand which natural body care products are the right ones for us. I'm gonna talk about one specific natural body care product and that is natural deodorant. I get a lot of questions about this. This one tends to be my favorite, but there are a lot of brands out there. There's Green Beaver, Tom's of Maine, Earth Science, and what I usually recommend is that you try a few out and find out which one is the right fit for your body physiology. The one that you find works best for you is the one to go with. For shampoos, soaps, creams, and lotions, there are so many natural skincare brands available to us now. I like the Jason brand because it's easy to find and it's got a pretty good rating on EWG. Are there greener options? Sure, there always are. But the take home message here is, find out what natural skincare brands are available to you, check out their rating on EWG, and give them a try. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on natural skincare. If you have skin concerns, feel free to visit with me and I'd be happy to help. Thank you for watching and have a great day.